So I'm looking at 1037 Kupalau at the apex of the hill on Kupalau in Maui Meadows. Has a beautiful view looking up country to Ulupalakua. There's a one-story house to the south. Slightly, um, slightly grayed on the lot. In fact, uh, you could judge that here by uh, the two or three retaining levels on the adjacent lot, which has temporary power, um, that's to the north. So you can see the grade here. There's a cottage on the neighbor lot. And then, I don't have a, I was thinking I had a pin here, but it's a bougainvillea leaf. I don't have a pin here to say the boundary exactly, but probably uh, fairly close. Uh, well, I don't know. We've got this uh, roadway in, so it's a little hard for me to say that too. But anyways, just to note that uh, that's the um, cottage built out. So there could be a house built forward on this lot to the north. There's a house behind, a beautiful monkey tree, monkey pod tree, and beautiful views of upcountry and then the roadside here, and you can see the grade off the road. The adjacent houses across the street look to be well kept. They're on the Mackay side of the road. There are uh, power lines here uh, crossing the street, fortunately moving away. And then um, telephone pole here. And then the nice thing is, is that the um, Kupalau goes downhill here, as you can see. Uh, you can see the grade uh, represented by the uh, height of the wall, the retaining wall, lower on the south side and much higher on the north side because the hill is dropping. But you'll pick up a beautiful view up front here, all the way back to Kahului, Wailuku Heights, West Maui, Ma'alaya Bay, and then, of course, out to um, the island of Lanai. And I'm going to take a little walk up here, and we'll show you the entire uh, view from higher on grade, because I'm on the street here and moving up now. So sorry about the bounciness. I'm just walking. Now some interesting data. This yellow house was just completed. It was an old teardown house and I don't remember the selling price. I think in the sixes. But they took it back down to a couple of sticks and renovated it. Third hand to me was that they put about a million into it and um, so they might have had a mill six in it with a basis for the lot in the 600 or the teardown and then supposedly a mill build out. Um, that being said, they put it on the market and they had two or three offers immediately, I think in the million nine plus range. And that house is at similar grade here to this lot. The hill gets a little steeper right here. So what we'll see as I come to the back of the lot is, and there's also a nice gulch here to the south, a little bit of separation between this and the one-story additional separation. But now you can look out and you get to see from grade level, of course, first level would be a little bit higher if you build a post and pier or a foundation. And um, so you'd be higher on the first floor than this. And then, of course, you would um, do a second story. So one big question is, uh, will this property to the north with the cottage ever have a house built forward? And that, of course, would affect this view, were it to happen. But we are at the apex of the hill, and um, we can certainly come around here and go a lot more forward on this lot so that the view corridor wouldn't be nearly as impacted as it would if we were on the back north corner because once we get over here and look to the northwest we will see 
properly oriented, this view will not be precluded because they'll have a setback on that lot from that cottage. And then our view up here, if we were forward on the lot, would basically be this, again from grade. Take one quick look at the drainage gully because that's a nice free natural buffer. And good separation from the other house without having to own it or pay taxes upon it. So now I'm walking back again down the hillside back towards the front of the lot see the distance here. I'm probably 60 yards from the front. There's a cottage there and then a main house. So as you come forward you can see that because of the hill the views will be good. Could one put the poles below? That would be talking to Maui Electric's engineers but certainly um, it's been done on Maui previously and it's a question of uh, doing your due diligence. Um, about eh, probably 30 yards from approximately 20 to 30 yards from the front of the lot now. Scanning back around, the property to the north, the new yellow house with a big deck, all brand new, the old cottage, and then the back of this lot on the east end. <laughs> 